Alright, so hello and welcome, welcome, welcome back to Mass Effect Solaris as the Turian. So, last time we played, uh, I believe I conquered these guys down here. These, um, the Endorian. Yeah. Oh, but we conquered them. And uh, here we have the Sari. But there's nothing we can really do about them. They are kind of allied with these guys to the north, and uh, these guys really like me. Uh, but their their independence, the Sari's independence, is guaranteed by these guys. I'd rather not go into a war uh, with them, especially when I'm on such good terms at the moment, at least. You're lucky you're not being enslaved right now. Speaking of slaves, damn, can't do slavery. Construction complete. So I have powerful pop factions, but this one, what are the? This one's the most powerful. No, yeah, this one's the most powerful. I'm not worried about it. Most of our planets are up over here, though. We're kind of just. I think I'm searching um, kind of in this direction. Come on. I'm kind of searching in this direction to see if there are any more plants to colonize. Kind of colonize this tendril here. And then maybe if I put a wormhole generator here, I might be able to reach this spiral arm. I don't know. They're not, these guys aren't fans of these guys. These guys are really angry and don't like peoples. And they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight planets already. Anomaly found. Okay, so I have agendas and new generation. This one's scientifically busy commanding the fifth legion, the ISS Vicarian. I guess we elect that guy. So this guy is a new generation, yeah. Lana Cillian. Let's see, are there any more plants to colonize? I think we've colonized max amount of plants. And I kind of, I want jungle worlds that actual Turians, because the Turian pop is actually one of the smaller pops in my empire. I mean, it's big, but compared to, like, everyone else. These guys, these weird mollusk people. Construction complete. My guy's not a tier three yet. System survey complete. Yeah, I unlock cruisers. They look pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, this, these ships look kind of Turian. They're not like special project. The complete. most Turian, but you know it's okay. Ancient mining drones, boy, oh boy. Situation log updated. Go ahead and take them apart. We're getting strike cruisers next. Special project. There's like complete. two wormholes right next to each other. Situation log updated. Hmm. 
Now, did I build, have any cruisers being made? Doesn't look like it. But I have cruise, I'm able to. So let's get a bunch of cruisers. Did I get any cruisers? I do have some cruisers, I have three. Special Amoeba. project complete. Space Amoebas forever. System survey complete. 10 out of 10, would Space Amoeba again? Eventually we're gonna run into one of these monsters and this is in the abyss. There's a lot of black holes though, so. System survey complete. Survey that system. I mean, we can declare for war on them, but their independence isn't guaranteed, which means these guys who are superior than me would come in and fight me. And that's what I'm trying to avoid. I'm also suppressing this faction. I don't know what planet that is, is a problem. New game. People need to stop being pissed off. I can't enslave you, otherwise I would It'd make things a lot easier. So I'm playing an online game uh, with my friends where my people were like a pacifistic, uh, collectivist, spiritualist. And it was really hard for me to expand, but we got the, what was it, the Temples in the Abyss event? They're like floating, the way the game described it is like, you found an, a temple from your old gods floating in space and I went and investigated them and apparently we were meant to basically in some form or another deus volt the entire galaxy so that's what I'm getting ready to do in my other game we're very we're playing the, the Mass Effect mod so same type of mod system survey complete um, and my friend is like the Solarians but I made a uh, I made like a, a long living like elvish race that is like the the thought was like they're better than everyone else because that's just how elves usually are in games and in like literature and stuff like that so I figured uh, that's what I would do and it's been going pretty well Research I'm complete. probably the most powerful empire in the game at the moment barring the the, the fallen empires Ooh, galactic administration I get advanced comments for what it's worth. So, but yeah, that's pretty fun. I think I was streaming on streaming on Twitch a little while ago. I don't remember. I was doing that and I was playing a lot of Rainbow Six Siege and I've been playing a lot of For Honor. So, For Honor is good. Go check out my videos on For Honor. Watch me uh, decapitate people. It's fun. Go watch Rainbow Six Siege. It's fun game. Makes me mad, but is fun. Is this? That's an Arctic world. Why would I colonize that? Not only is it an Arctic world, but this is a shitty Arctic world. I really wanted to colonize or conquer the. Uh, Anomaly found them, but, you know, I guess not. Let's just form a defensive pact with these guys. Oh, maybe we 
I shouldn't have done that. Break it. Yeah. So we got a Savannah World. Ocean World. Incoming transmission. No. I I cannot rush back, yeah. Construction complete. Ancient life pod. Interesting. These guys not like me anymore, or what? Border friction broke defensive pack. No. System survey complete. If I were to declare war on them, their naval capacity is inferior. I'm almost maxed my capacity. I wonder if I could win the war. Because I can sustain the war. I wonder if I could win it. Try not to try and declare war. Uh, we must break our non-aggression pact. Unusual encounter, huh? What? Situation log updated. Oh, these are space nomads. See, that... That looks like a Turian ship. Are these are these cruisers? Their fleets are larger than mine. Uh, destroyers, corvettes, corvettes. I have a shitload of armies in my plan. Holy hell. Well, I'm ready for a war, I guess. Can I break the non aggression pack? Incoming transmission. So let's see what that's all about, and then uh, usually they'll. Wait, what precursor is my. Yet. They were anthropoids. The galactic nomads. Hey, look, penguins. Uh, cold days and warm nights upon you, Turian Primarch. We are Savia uh, something or other. We speak on behalf of the Nemarian souls aboard the collection of ships of the pursuing waters, our nomadic fleet. You have nothing to fear from us. The fleet has no interest in orb bound affairs. We only ask you to respect our autonomy and do not hinder us in our journey. We gain much from this encounter. Okay, were they, what system were they in? Is my, in here? I don't know what system they're in. Um, doesn't tell me, civilian fleet, civilian fleet, civilian fleet, civilian fleet. I don't know where they're docked. I'm sure I can find out, let's see. Galactic Nomad, let's go. Tell us more about your people. We have mentioned in our we are people of pursuing waters. We traveled the stars and voids between for many generations and will continue to do so for many more. It is a collector required to do their best to enable our progress. Some wish to leave and establish new orb bound life for themselves, but most wish to see what lies beyond to the next void. Where are you headed? We are on a journey down the river of many of the many voids between. It has been a millennia, but we sail on the destination we seek being the ocean of the universe. It might sound cryptic, but this adequately symbolizes what we dare share. May it bring you shade. Bye. Favorable winds, Turian. How nice. Those are nice bird people. Of 
Where are the cruisers? Where are they set in the formation? Oh, they sit in the very back. Ancient life pod. There's a lot of ancient life pods. So what is this? I don't know what's being. I don't know what's being tracked. Are those habitable worlds? Oh, yep. Yeah. I can't declare war for 10 years. Otherwise, we should be able to beat them in a war. Pirate fleet. That's a large pirate fleet. These kind of look like Turian ships. Color scheme is kind of the same. Turian ships more kind of look like that. They're more pointed. That's why when I saw the other one, I was like, that from the Nomads, I was like, that's... That's more like Turian ships. I wish I knew what system they flew into, but whatever. So I have, I have one here. I can get to all, all three of their planets. I wonder if I can at demand all their planets. Because if I demand their plants, conquer them completely, I can kill these guys and conquer them completely. These guys are my vassals. And I can eventually absorb them. Oh, we can do it now. Five influence per month. I'm not making five. From Edict. What Edict do I have? Do I have the Great Fleet Edict? I do have the Grand Fleet Edict. Hmm. I have unemployment. Oh yeah, this planet's like terrible. It's because I haven't been paying attention to these people. Okay, let's start building... Governor's Mausoleum. Weird alligator things. I'm lacking the money. Mineral silo. Minerals. Why don't we do another one of the energy things? Okay, weird. Oh, I see what's happening. Why are you unhappy? No, because you're individualists. Oh, my turns really don't care. Oh, yeah, I hate these people, too. Man, if I could uh, kill them all. Happiness plus 10. Sure. Build a farm. Build a mine. There we go. Hey, everyone's happy. Yay. Damn. Build that governor's mansion, yo. These guys are pacifists? They're militarists. Oh. Critical failure. Damn. Oh, my scientist is dead. Time to get a new one. Survey the system. Continue surveying. The system will be okay. We're actually not doing badly. We have a little bit of unrest, but that's okay. It's from the client races. In the next Stellaris update, you will be able to discriminate against them. Because, why not? You know, in space. 
System survey complete. Uh, so you can like you can deal with like really assholey races. Like some people build their like my friend, he built his race as like a slaver race, and they're just really asshole and like slaver, and they're just like. Fifteen months that we'll be able to change our government to a top of the line, tip top government. We should have military junto. We should change to a republic. What is it, a military? Sitting on our hands, we can't really do anything. I can declare war on these guys. Oh, that's how I can do it. Uh, can I fucking demand all their planets? Almost. Ooh, close. Let us take. Okay. We'll leave them kajam, and let's see if we can get. We can work that. Yes. And then can we vassalize? I wonder, could we just... No, we can't. Confirm it. We go to war. We found a solar sailor. That's all good and whatnot. Get a turry in here. Whoa. My fleet left port and I lost money. Oh, well. Here we go. 2.9k fleet. I didn't see what their fleet, their fleet power is equivalent, but their capacity is way less. Well, I'm almost at max capacity. I only have a little bit more to go. So I wonder how big their fleet actually is. Hmm. If it's too big, we'll, uh, we'll run away and I'll big, build a bigger fleet and I'll just add on this one. Do I not have a better... Do we have tier 3? We don't on them, or them, or them. What the fuck? Hostile fleet engaged. Oh, got that for me. Situation log updated. Situation log Stupid updated. Fucking... Construction complete. What's their fleet size? Two, 2300. Oh. <clears throat> Apparently, we destroyed everything. Let's uh, ready the Turian war machine here. We're gonna apparently every land army we got. Let's recruit this guy. Let's take their home world. Land orphans. By the time he gets there, he'll be ready to land them. And then we'll strike against them after we've dealt with these guys. 
So they ran their fleet away. I wonder why. What is their... We destroyed their space station almost immediately. I looked away and it was gone. The 2K fleet. 600 space station. System yeah, I'm almost complete. a 3K fleet. Research complete. I expect this war to be over fairly quickly. Uh, what is this colony ship? Let's do that. Change my government. We would want a it was an order stack stat statocracy. Ship upkeep. I must wait six years. Two hundred and fifty influence. Uh, actually, I'll be able to change my government same time I'm able to uh, oh my god why are there so many defenders on this planet holy fuck planetary invasion failed oh shit we're gonna need a massive army to retake that to take that planet and damn they're no joke dude I don't want defense armies Get all the Turian assault armies. Hostile fleet engaged. Ooh, they're fighting me. Oh, let's see what happens. I have shielding, so I have shielding, Hostile and their shielding is now gone. So my fleet's a close-range fleet, bitch. We have guns and cannons and missiles. Oh, they shouldn't have tangled with us. Oh, it's a massacre for them. Hostile fleet engaged. Actually losing a lot of their ships. I'm losing a lot of mine too. It's okay. The Turians know no loss. Too great. Wow, they're destroyed. We wiped them out. There's like none of them left. Situation we killed them all. Hostile fleet engaged. How dare you. Kill that transport. Situation log updated. Continue to bombard that planet. Let's go ahead and make some more cruisers. Some reinforcements to send them. These armies are gonna take a little while, so it'll be a little bit before we get to that. So I'm destroying them. Destroy them good, boys. Hostile fleet engaged. Oh, they're all dead. How many of my cruisers are left? Fucking all of them. They destroyed my corvettes because they were ancient. No, uh, they were able to repair. Mm. Let's fix this. Army doctrine. Elite chapters. I'll do. Fleet composition. I don't know why this is uh, grayed out. This, this has to be bugged. The fleet composition. So, Hostile what Elite Chapters does, basically, it makes it so that the Turian armies here have, like, triple the amount of health, and they do way more damage. Say, health 690, uh, damage uh, 6.72, which is fairly high. Actually, let's take this fleet. Go up here at a. Their space station will pull me. As you can see, they have a Hostile little defense engaged. station. Let's kill the wormhole generator so they won't be able to move Hostile around. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated.
And then when we jump into the system, it'll pull us here. I'm gonna kill that, and then there, sh there should be a wormhole somewhere in the system. I'm gonna get rid of as well. They pulled us out of hyperspace. Killed it. Situation log updated. Shooting the hell out of it, and it's dead. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Go here. See that they're already building a new. I'll send the fleets to recoup or to rejoin and regather. There we go. Once all these assault armies are done, we should be able to take it. These are like Turian space marines, if you will. Construction complete. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Kill that too. There you go. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Right into a fire bombing. Transfer them over. Nice. Do you have a general? That general didn't survive. Damn. Another precursor discovery. Those are always nice to get, but I, I've never finished the precursor chain. I think they're way too boring most of the time. The only one that's like really interesting is the Cybrex, and I've had that so many times that we've found their home world, and it really doesn't matter. We're just like, oh look, it's our home world, and then that's it. We go home. All right, we're gonna attempt to take this planet. We're gonna test these boyos out. We got space marines. Send them in to kill. We're actually making credits. It's hilarious. That's hilarious. We'll ready these guys. Get two more. Because we're gonna storm the Asari, the Asari homeworld as well. Take them out. It's gonna be one good old fashioned beat down. Alright, let's see. I have five armies. Let's see how they do against the horde. It's a massacre. It's a complete massacre. Research complete. That's only a small amount of troops and we're doing very well. Uh not sure. And now they start to die off. Mm. I might win. Nope. Nope. Enemy planet secured. My space marines. My space marine Turians killed them all. We've also killed some of them and leveled like all of their shit. So good on me. Let's go here. War's over, basically. Ooh, they'd actually give me uh, two planets. Look at that. Did 
Did I want all of theirs? I thought I had set it to... Scalia. Oh. Oh well. They almost would give me all their planets. Hostile fleet engaged. Cool, well, now that we're done killing everything else, turn your weapons on everyone else. Kill them all. It's a massacre. Oh, no. It's a slaughterhouse. It's a slaughterhouse. Okay, they're all dead. <laughs> this little fleet is 1k fleet strength. Hilarious. Do you think they'll give me what I want now? No. Nope. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Mm. They'll almost give me that. Huh. <laughs> I could take both their planets and then leave these guys in the middle. Nah, I think it's easier to take them out one clean, easy swoop. But, I think I'm going to end this episode here for now. Yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please don't hesitate to like, comment, subscribe. It means a lot to me. I appreciate it quite a bit. And one return... I think we're going to finish this war up, annex what we need to annex, updated. and then we'll go from there. So until next time, guys, stay tuned.